what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're going to go ahead and discuss some call of duty black ops cold war specifically i want to talk about these mother mothers are out here cheating already but before we jump into any of that do me a favor like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and definitely hit the bell for notifications the channel is growing and i do appreciate all of those people that are out there that are rocking with me moving forward i appreciate you guys in the background you already know what time it is i got some cold war gameplay so do enjoy that as we get through the topic of discussion today first and foremost before we jump into anything i know it's late in the day but if you didn't know the cold war beta has been extended until tomorrow october 20th until about 1 p.m eastern standard time so that's what 10 a.m pacific standard time if you live somewhere other than where i live the devs not only extended extended the beta, but they also went ahead and hooked us up with all the attachments for all the weapons. So when you jump on again, all of your weapons will be maxed out so you can really experiment with any and all attachments associated with the beta for the remainder of said beta. But that being said, that's not the only thing that they did. They also hooked us up with some double XP for all my grinders out there, for all my completionists out there. Max level is gonna be 40, so definitely check that out if you get the chance. That's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the topic of discussion today. So as soon as they turned on the cross play feature, guess what started happening immediately all these cheating videos just started popping up yo what's going on with these no dumbass mother mothers out there i don't understand the game isn't even out yet oh my goodness they are cheating there are major cheaters out there right now when it comes to the call of duty cold war beta unfortunately though the pc master race is the people behind it they are back at it again with the aim bots and the x-ray vision the game again isn't even out yet and they're already cheating for stats so first we get the true versions aka the pros reverse boosting for gameplay now we get these mothers that are out here cheating they're not even hiding it neither just watch them kill cams and you will see that these dudes are out here dead cheating what i don't get is this i'm pretty certain that the devs are gonna reset the stats at the end of the beta so why are they even doing this how is this even fun i'd get bored with this shit in like maybe like five ten minutes yeah it's cool oh my god look what i can do but how could you just be cool with yourself when you know that you cheating but nevertheless nevertheless it is a thing so if you're playing and you see some pcers they they may be out there running that aimbot.exe on that ass so definitely watch them kill cams and report them as needed moving on apparently treyarch and the boys at the studio extended the beta and gave out all these wonderful attachments as a form of a reward for an accomplishment that they didn't even know was possible they did it y'all the g fuelers the completionists and them boys that are all around afraid of the sun my favorites the data miners they crack the code while we were all having fun on the beta you know learning how to play the game dodging sniper shots you know all that wonderful good stuff they came through with a purpose they came to play baby and they knew what time it was when it came to serving said purpose these dudes then discovered every single easter egg and decrypted every single hidden message left by the dev listen i love you guys because without you you, there'd be less single women in the world i'm gonna be completely honest but damn you all have outdone yourselves here the game isn't even out yet this shit's crazy to me but again thank you furthermore i didn't even know this but maybe you all did fire team dirty bomb is apparently the most innovative game mode ever made sure it definitely resembles warzone or battlefield's rush mode but apparently it's the best thing since they put VJs in a can. You know, I didn't know that it was best, but apparently I must have been under a rock or something. But if you are under that rock with me and you don't know about this game mode, basically Fireteam Dirty Bomb is the new game mode release for Cold War. The basic premise is that you kill people or find radions, deposit into a designated area and set off the Dirty Bomb. You get points along the way and first to score limit win.
friends that was the down and dirty version obviously but you got the point you got the main premise of the mode that that's what it is i played it and it was too hectic and chaotic for me honestly i didn't really like it once i got into a tank though i was really having fun obviously i'm in a tank i'm in, the, in, in a giant metal box dishing out all kinds of murder so i definitely really enjoyed myself but otherwise it didn't really do it for me apparently it is epic enough and worth checking out though so before the beta ends i will say definitely give it a shot and let me know in the comment section what you think of the mode if you've played it should i give it another chance so that's about it for me honestly i am gonna go ahead and wrap this up here thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video if you like the video if you like the video then guess what like the video if you like the channel subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below big ups to all my notification crew out there i see y'all and you already know what time it is let's light that comment section up appreciate you all out there and i'll definitely definitely see you guys on the next one